HTC One is now on the dollar menu. I'm seeing rainbows with Nintendo's latest release. Google Maps masters April Fool's pranks. Amazon Fire TV means more money, and Vine users now have VM. I'm just telling you, Jones, take a break from your Friday grind as I give you the top five industry news stories for the week with the Petra Five and Five. A buck doesn't get you very far these days. You could get a McDouble or shampoo from Dollar Tree, or you could buy the original HTC One from Best Buy. Yep, that's right. Best Buy is selling the HTC One M7 for one dollar today and tomorrow only. Even better, the deal applies for all colors, including black, silver, red, and blue. The catch: you've got to commit to a two-year contract with AT&T, Sprint, or Verizon. Oh, and if you're feeling blue, that model is only available at Best Buy. Or if you guys are feeling like big spenders, you can buy the HTC One M8 for $150. That's a $50 discount, but also requires a two-year contract. Either way, it's probably wise to start stocking up on HTC One M7 and M8 accessories for your customers. I think I know a place that could help with that. I'm not sure if this is the greatest or most frustrating news I've heard this week. On Thursday, Nintendo released a new trailer for Mario Kart 8. That's awesome on its own, right? The trailer showcased new items, tracks, and features for the upcoming Wii U game, and gave the first glimpse at two new additions to Mario Kart that are from other games: the Piranha Plant, first seen in Super Mario 3D World, and the Boomerang, first seen in Super Mario 3D Land. But these aren't the only additions. There are also new tracks, including two new Rainbow Roads. You guys. Rainbow Road was like a crash course in not drinking and driving. Seriously, the colors are so pretty, and yet the track is so terrifying and impossible. <laughs> Other additions will include a new anti-gravity function and the ability to get a spin turbo by colliding with another racer. Mario Kart 8 hits stores May 30th, and I think I know somewhere that can get you stocked up on Wii accessories. Google Maps won in April Fool's pranks this year. On Monday, Google's Maps division released a video announcement for a new job opening for a Pokemon master. How else could the company find the true master than by developing a Pokemon challenge, aka the most rigorous test known to man? Basically, Pokemon were hidden throughout the latest versions of Google Maps. The goal: to catch them all. The deadline was to catch all 150 Pokemon by Wednesday. According to Google's video, the people who found them all would be invited to the Googleplex to participate in a final round of hiring, and the official Pokemon Master would begin work on September 1st. Jokes on you, you guys. But at least it was fun, right? Amazon Prime members may have to pay more for subscriptions, but at least they can stream thousands of titles for no additional cost. Well, if they buy the new Amazon Fire TV, that is. Released this week, the Amazon Fire TV is the best way to watch Amazon Instant Movies and TV. It also features voice search, streams Amazon content amazingly fast, and supports third-party apps like Netflix, YouTube, Pandora, Hulu Plus, ESPN, and hundreds of games. Parents can set flexible parental controls, and there is a kid-friendly free time platform to be released soon. Even better, setup is crazy simple. That being said, the voice search does not work with Netflix and most other non-Amazon apps. HBO Go is a no-go, same with Spotify, and it's expensive, you guys. Ninety-nine bucks plus users will need the forty-dollar Fire Game controller for games and a Prime subscription to get the most out of the box. It's a pretty impressive start, but your customers may just want to stick with cheaper streaming methods for now. And I think I know a place where you guys can get that. Just saying. If any of you use Vine as a marketing tool, you may really profit from its latest update. And its biggest update since the app's launch, Vine has added its own messaging system. Now users can communicate beyond just the comment section of videos posted. Vine messages or DMs can be sent to anyone, not just Vine members. I'm Natalia Jones. Thanks for tuning in. That's all the time I've got for this week's Five and Five. Be sure to check back in with Petra Channels on Monday for the Petra Pulse, where I'll give you a sneak peek at what's new to the Petra site. Don't forget to follow our social media sites and send me your thoughts to feedback at petra.com.